Hello, this is Brad Johnson with LMN Solutions, here to demonstrate for you Selenium Remote Control. It's been a very useful tool in automating the testing of application. It has the ability to be connected with JUnit and write your tests in Java, although you could write your tests in Ruby or Perl or PHP also. It has enabled us to write JUnit tests and also set up continuous integration using Cruise Control driving JUnit. But I'm going to demonstrate to you the uh, JUnit portion today. Uh, the first step I have is starting up Selenium Server. It's a jar file, so it's simply uh, Java space dash jar space selenium dash server dot jar. I'll start that up. It'll launch um, on Jetty on port 4444. Now my tests have been built in JUnit. So we have a typical JUnit test here, uh, which sets up a test case, sets up Selenium, launches a browser, launches our application on localhost, have it running locally. It'll run through and validate various elements and items on the page, as well as input data and check that our submissions are working. It's going to now launch a browser. There's our browser coming up. It's going to launch into a, a frame set with Selenium running on the top portion. And it's going to start calling commands which run the bottom frame set. This can also be run in multiple window mode so that uh, your application takes up the whole window instead of just part of it. Right now it's just getting title, getting text, getting checking links, making sure that all these links are correct. Now it's going to close this browser and open another one. This is a second level test that I have, a two tests defined in JUnit. This one will log into the element people portion of the application. This is where we keep track of resumes and other data about the employees at the company. It's going to go in and actually edit some data in the address field. Right now it's just validating that the links are correct. And this is running in slow motion mode right now, just so that it is visible. Usually it runs about 10 times faster than this. Um, down here at the location area, it's going to insert data here into the address field. In a moment, it's typing in now. Now it's going to submit the form and validate that it appears here. Now it's going to go remove it in order to return our application back to a default mode. Now it's logging off. Now if we jump back to our JUnit test, we can see that one test pa failed and the other test passed. And you can view the JUnit error message here. It says element link published jobs list not found. And you can go, let me get back here, go to the actual code. So this link, published jobs list, was not found. That means our application is in error, or it has been removed part of the new uh, requirement. Looks like it's misspelled here. If we change the spelling, we should be able to return the test back to a mode where it actually runs correctly. We can run this test by itself. We'll now launch our browser again. We just had a misspelling in our link to, to illustrate a failing test. Now it's going to run it again. This could have been an error in our application. We could have just gone and corrected the application, uh, rebuilt it, and run this test again to validate that uh, the application was again working correctly. This is a good way of watching an application, run this daily or hourly, just to make sure that the application continues to work correctly. So now we see that that test has passed successfully. This has been a demonstration of uh, Selenium Remote Control from uh, Element Solutions. In uh, future videos, there'll be one for recording a test using Selenium IDE and importing it into our test suite in JUnit, and another one for running 
Selenium Remote Control from Fitness. Thank you for your time.